The American Cancer Society reports that in 2023, approximately 288,000 men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer. That's staggering. Mm -hmm. A successful battle against prostate cancer starts with an early and accurate diagnosis, making regular screenings and access to advanced imaging really crucial. So important. We're going to learn more from urologist Dr. Naveen Kella. But first, Montel, let's introduce everyone to Keith, a retired naval officer who's using his own diagnosis to raise awareness. Take a look. When I met with my doctor, he told me I had prostate cancer. My emotions were all over the place. I had beaten cancer once, I had oropharyngeal cancer, and now I'm facing the fact that I have cancer again. It was kind of a punch in the gut. A lot of times it's gut-wrenching because when people hear that C word, the cancer word, uh, there's a lot of anxiety about what's going to happen. That's where I come in to try to help patients understand that there are things that we can do to help fight this battle with prostate cancer. As a retired naval officer with 28 years of service, Keith was no stranger to high stress situations. He was an F-14 Tomcat aviator with over 3,000 flight hours and over 800 carrier landings. Finally, settling down in Naples, Florida with his wife Tracy of 22 years, Keith was faced with a battle of a different kind. Doctors discovered my PSA had risen during an annual physical. My PSA was 5.74 which was basically double of what my average usually was. I was referred to a urologist who then decided that I needed to have a biopsy. And the results of the biopsy confirmed that I had prostate cancer. When the VA urologist talked to me, he was more of the, of the opinion that I needed to be put on a surveillance program. I was uneasy about the initial management approach. I was gonna be looking for a second opinion. So I reached out to a very good friend of mine, someone I've known for over 40 years, Mike Crosby, who's the head of Veterans Prostate Cancer Awareness, and he said, how soon can you be in DC? Prostate cancer is one of the most common forms of cancer. It's the second leading cause of death in American men. PSA is a simple blood test. It stands for prostate specific antigen. It's a protein that's made by prostate cells and it's made in higher amounts by prostate cancer cells. PSA is a great tool for indicating if someone has prostate cancer, but additionally, after the cancer has been treated, we can continue to use PSA to see if the disease has come back. When a patient comes in with an elevated PSA, we're there to try to figure out why is it elevated. There are some reasons as far as the prostate just becoming enlarged or being infected. Oftentimes, we'll rerun the test if this is the first time they had an elevated PSA. But sometimes we can order different types of imaging tests to also figure out why the PSA is elevated. Once that PSA is confirmed to be elevated uh, and the biopsy is positive, there are different things we do at that point to figure out if the cancer is still within the prostate or if it's spread outside. Those tests include an MRI, a CAT scan, a bone scan, and a PSMA PET CT scan. The doctor in DC came up with a conclusion that I had a tumor that was pressing against the wall of the prostate, and all indications were that I had an aggressive form of prostate cancer and and in carcinoma that needed to be treated immediately. I was scheduled for the surgery April, May, and June 2020, which was the height of COVID. Unfortunately, each time was canceled. While I was waiting for my surgery date, Mike called me up and was checking up on me and told me about a clinical trial through West LA VA for precision imaging technique called PSMA PET. I didn't know much about it, so I decided to research it. And from my research, I found there was a great technique and something I think would help the doctors tremendously come up with the proper treatment plans and improve my quality of life. PSMA PET-CT is known as prostate-specific membrane antigen. The PSMA is made by prostate cancer cells as well as regular prostate cells, but it's made by prostate cancer cells much more, so we can pick it up anywhere in the body. The PSMA PET-CT has been a breakthrough for physicians because now we can more confidently counsel our patients. The PSMA scan can pick up cancer when it's spread to other parts of the body, including lymph nodes and bone. 
According to the AUA, which is the American Urological Association, PSMA PET-CT is a suitable replacement for conventional imaging. It provides superior accuracy to the combined findings of CT and bone scan. The AUA recommends that clinicians should utilize PSMA PET-CT preferentially in patients with PSA recurrence and after failure of local therapy such as surgery or radiation. It's an alternative to conventional imaging such as CT and bone scan because it provides greater sensitivity and it can also be used in the setting of negative conventional imaging because it also has greater sensitivity. My surgeon in DC reached out to a colleague of his in Florida and see if he could get me on the schedule for surgery. By the grace of God, that doctor was five minutes from my house in Naples, Florida. I brought him the results from the PSMA study. He looked at the results and he said, I'm confident you're not metastatic. I can take care of this by removing the prostate and setting proper margins. You will not need radiation. You will not need chemotherapy. I'm confident everything will work out well. When the doctor told me that, it felt like the weight of the world was off my shoulders. It was the first time in months I felt I could relax. I knew I had a great prognosis and I wasn't gonna enjoy the rest of my life with my grandkids. The discovery of PSMA has led to advances such as PET imaging with Elucix, which can help physicians make more informed decisions about our patients' prostate cancer care. Elucix is an advanced imaging tracer that attaches to PSMA proteins on cancer cells, and during the PET scan, lights up those proteins where they are in the body. A PET scan with Elucix may be able to detect cancer when PSA levels are low and when tumors are small or conventional imaging results are uncertain. Imaging with Elucix can help physicians detect and stage prostate cancer earlier and at lower levels than previously capable to help your care team make more informed decisions about your treatment path going forward. Elucix can be used for patients throughout their prostate cancer journeys, such as when a patient's risk levels are relatively high after initial diagnosis or PSA levels are rising after treatment. This may help your doctor determine if the cancer has come back or spread to other areas of the body. Elucix can also help your doctor determine if treatments like PSMA-directed radioligand therapy will be appropriate for you. Everything my doctor suspected came to fruition post-surgery. He was happy with the results. My immediate PSA score was zero, and it has been for over three years. The PSMA results were very impactful and made a huge difference in my protocols for treatment and my quality of life. PSMA PET-CT is an amazing test that we have to offer our patients. It provides us the ability to see things that we hadn't seen before. With this test, patients can go through the type of therapy that they need. It may be more tailored, or they may be able to avoid therapy and not worry that this cancer is being left untreated. If I wasn't an advocate for myself, if I didn't do the research, if I didn't reach out to friends, and I didn't avail myself to the PSMA imaging, things would have been very, very different in my life right now. I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm enjoying my life with my wife and my grandkids, my family. I'm living a great life. My advice to men regarding prostate cancer is simple. Get your PSA, know your score, look for trends over time. If you have an increasing trend or a spike, get a referral to a urologist so the urologist can help you make a determination on a course of treatment so you can have a long and healthy life. For prostate cancer care guided by Illumination, visit elucix.com. And of course, you can always visit our website, thebalancingout.com. Please stay tuned for more important safety information.